All right, we're going to talk about how to factor now. Earlier we we did problems that just had n squared, but now we have a coefficient in front of the leading co in front of the n squared, and so it's a little more complicated to solve. And rather than try and do it all in our heads, we want to try and, uh, and solve it uh, using a common factor or using this other method that I'm going to teach you in a minute. So you have the number nine, and you have the number negative sixty nine, and you have the number ninety. All of these numbers, because divide by three, um, they it's it's a number that goes into all of them. So let's take that one out. So we have three, and if we take that one out, um, we have to figure out three times what equals nine, and it's three because three times three equals nine. So it's going to be three n squared. And then when we do uh, sixty nine divided by three, uh, three goes into six twice. So six. And goes into three nine. It goes into nine three times three, so we know this is going to be uh, twenty three. And then ninety divided by three is thirty, so it's going to be thirty. So now we have this this three n squared, this twenty three, and this thirty. However, to figure out, it's going to be something. It's going to be, it's going to be n times. It's going to be three n times something and n times something. But we don't know exactly what's going to be inside here when we totally when we fully factor this. And the easiest way to do that, the easiest way to try and figure it out without killing yourself is to draw this, we're going to call this the x method. And you, you multiply your first term and your last term and put that on the top. So 3 times 30 is 90. And then you take your middle term here, which is negative 23, and you put that on the bottom, negative 23. And what you're going to be trying to find is we want numbers that um, multiply to this and we want a number that adds to this. So when we think about 90, we have um, 90 times 1, we have 45 times 2, we have, what else we have? We have um, 30 times 3, and uh, we have, if we divide it by 5, 90 divided by 5 um, is... 18. Uh, so we have 5 times 18. And I'm going to stop there because if, when you look at this, you have 18 and 5. They multiply to 90. And if you make them negative, 18, 18 and 5, they also add 23. So let's just make them both negative. We have negative 5 and we have negative 18. These two numbers, they multiply to 90 because a negative times a negative is a positive, And negative 5 and negative 18 add to 23. Then once again, you take your first number, which was 3, and you put both of these numbers over 3. Over 3. 5 and 3 have no common factors. However, negative 18 and 3 do have a common factor. If I divide this side by 3, and if I divide this side by 3, negative 18 divided by 3 is negative 6, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. And now the th these bottom numbers, the 3 and the 1, they become your x's in your problem over here. I mean, sorry, your n's. So you're going to have 3n, and you're going to have the other one's 1, so you're just going to have n. And the top numbers become your minus or your pluses. So we have minus 5. I'll do it in a different color. You have the minus 5 from up here, and you have the minus 6 from over here, so minus 6. So your final answer is going to be 3 times 3n minus 5 times n minus 6. And that is your final answer. So you can see these problems, when you have a coefficient in front, they do take a little bit longer. But if you use this x method, it's fairly simple once you've factored out any common factors to go ahead and fully factor the problem.